everybody. Thanks for coming out today. We appreciate it. Who's got the first question? I'd like to kick off with Sean Strickland, please. Sean, last time out, you had an amazing performance against Israel Adesanya. Drikas is up next. How does your style match up to his, and how do you think he'll compare to Izzy? Man, I wish I could see you, dude. Where the fuck are you, Razor? Oh, there we go. I got you back there with your pink shorts, dude. Hey, you're looking clean today, bro. You're looking sharp. I heard you were here. I dressed up nice. Watch out, ladies. The man's looking good today. Anyways, um, yeah, dude, Drikas is a tough motherfucker, dude. Look at this guy, man, you know? Fucking walk through Whitaker. Tough guy. The only thing, Dracus, just don't let your coach grab your dick no more. <laughs> we ain't about this shit, guys. It's gonna throw me up. I'm gonna be fighting. I'm gonna look over. They're gonna be making out of shit. I can't handle this shit. Let's just have a nice, clean fight. No dick grabbing. Dracus, what do you make of Sean Strickland, right? He's a great fighter, but also he's quite the personality. When you hear things like, don't let your coach grab your dick, what do you make of that? Yeah, well, I mean, it's probably not the worst advice in the world. Um, but, you know, Sean Strickland is a fighter. I mean, the guy came out short notice, um, beat one of the best to ever do it in middleweight. And um, he did it in a spectacular fashion. Deserves all the respect that he's getting. And I think he's a tremendous fighter. And we're going to have one heck of a fight come 20th January. Hey, Anything that is damn true from this man. He's always down to die, bro. It's going to be a war. Sean, which was the bigger upset, you and Izzy or him and Rob? I mean, here's the thing, man. If I learned one thing about that fight, Dragus is either that good or Whitaker is that bad. I mean, he made. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. Like, I, I was on. I was at the. I was on the sidelines watching this mother talking to Izzy the whole time, and then he just goes and walks you, Whitaker, man. This mother. But hey, let's go, Brandon. Random. I like that guy. I like that guy. I love you, guys. Man, I'm just sad, you guys, I'm not fighting in the States. You know, they, they had, you know, they call me sexist, but here I am going to Canada to help a woman co-main event. <laughs> All the girls in there are just saying, this guy. But yeah, I know, I love you guys, man. I mean, this dude could have a war. Uh, Drakus, you proved a lot of doubters wrong in your last fight when you beat Robert Whittaker. Do you consider yourself an underdog coming into this fight with Sean? I honestly don't give a shit if I'm an underdog going into any fight. No, once I step in there, I'm the favorite every single time. All of you booing right now, go, one, two, three, go. I can't wait to turn those into cheers once again. For Drikas, um, I'm curious what your thoughts are on Sean's rise. Obviously, he's grown a big fan base, but from what we've seen in there and what we saw against Israel Adesanya, what have you made of him as a competitor? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really a rise, let's be honest. It wasn't like he was taking out number three, four, or whatever. He got an opportunity, but you know, this is a game of opportunities. He took the opportunity, it paid off. So nothing but respect there. He got that fight on short notice. He showed up and um, he showed that whatever the stakes, doesn't matter how, how big of a risk, you know, he came out there and for him, that was the most important fight of his life. And um, he took the, he made the most of that opportunity. So well done to it. But this is not an opportunity. He's not getting an opportunity. I was scared of who? Yeah, I was scared after knocking out Robert Wittke. You're definitely right. And so I guess the follow-up to that is, what do you do differently, or what do you think you bring that Israel wasn't able to when he fought Sean? Well, knockout power, firstly, and um, the fact that, uh, you know, I can wrestle, I can grapple, and um, that I go out there to fight. I don't go out there to win by points and run around uh, in the octagon. I go out there to fight, and that I can do better than anybody in the world. Because after your last fight, a lot of people were excited for the fight between you and Adesanya. Will taking the belt from Sean still feel just to speak of an event to you? My God, to be honest, I don't give a shit who owns, who's holding the belt when I fight for it. I'm not here to fight Israel Adesanya. I'm not here to fight anyone. I'm here to become the world champion. That's the only thing that matters to me. I don't care who's holding on to that belt. As soon as Sean Strickland won that belt, my focus immediately shifted to him. And Israel Adesanya, like he is right now, became completely irrelevant to me. And then question for Sean Strickland. 
Sean, when you become a champion, a lot more attention, a lot more people want your time. How do you stay focused to stay ahead of the game? I don't, man. It's just a fucking belt, dude. There's so many savages in this fucking division. My bank account's bigger. It's nice. I can stop a little bit more, but you guys know me. I don't give a fuck about that belt. I just want to make motherfuckers bleed. And Dragus is the next one who's going to fucking bleed. I can't fucking wait. You can take this belt and you can give it to anybody in the stands. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about this belt. The only thing I want to do is make this fucking man bleed, and it's going to be a good one. And by the way, Dragus, who I like Dragus, but we're going to fight each other. We don't got to be. You know, I don't got to be your coach. I'm not trying to grab your You want to talk about scared? Dreykus had a pretty easy fight with Whitaker, to his credit. Injury free. They offered him a world title. And he said, no, I rolled my fucking ankle. So let's not talk about being scared. They offered me that coming off the couch. Yeah, but you were ranked number nothing. seven. You knew you would never make it up the ladder. You injection, nothing. Fight, so you and I answered the call. I answered like, you the are a nip one, call. slip one fighter. Enjoy. That's, you look Enjoy. the part, that's the way you fight. You are, ne you are not world championship majority. You won by fluke, and that's the one I thing, won by a the highest fluke, point bro. in your life. I want my walk through Izzy, and I'm gonna walk through you, you mother You didn't even finish him. That's not Calm walking down, through somebody. Calm down, my brother. Calm you down. You know how you walk through somebody? Up. You knock them out. That, you get the ref to say, stop. You are going to kill this man. You don't let a judge decide you're winning the fight. I make the choice hey, if I'm winning the fight. Just understand. That's what a man the does. Way out. I took Try the to man finish your fight. Title. Try to finish your fight with you your 33% finish rate. I took the right. fucking man way. 33% the finish the fucking right. couch doing nothing. I went and beat the best striker in the fucking world. One of the fucking legends of this sport. I fucking walked through him while your bitch ass was icing a fucking ankle. Like Shut I said, the that's the height of your career. You will always remember that fight. Go f*** your coach, you f***. Why are you, why are you looking questions? so sad now, Sean? Why are you looking so sad? Question You're for Sean sad. Strickland. Sean, go ahead. Sean Strickland, from a competition standpoint. I'm in the smell. Hey, buddy, we got one from the smell. Let's go, dude. From a competition standpoint, is Dreykus the toughest guy they can put in front of you? Is your first title defense in the middleweight division? Here, here's the thing, man. Drake is tough. I've sparred people who he's fought. I know what he is. Yeah, he beat fucking Whitaker, but guess what? I would fucking destroy Whitaker. Fuck Whitaker. I don't understand why that is like the biggest accomplishment. Whitaker, from a, from a fight perspective, he has one thing. He has a blitz. Dreykus shut it down. He had nothing left. So at the end of the day, man, yeah, Dreykus could fight, but I'm going to fucking do a master class on him. I'm going to fucking walk through Dreykus. And I'll tell you what, I'm probably not going to finish that man because he's willing to die in the ring. And if I don't finish him, you're going to see five rounds of him getting the utter shit kicked out of him. I promise you that. To the death, Dreykus. Dreykus, he was able to win the Australian fans over. You're a proud South African. How do you think the South African fans feel about Sean Strickland? The South African fans. Uh, they don't care about Sean Strickland. They are all only caring about one thing, is getting that belt home. Being world champions, what we are, and I'm gonna prove that in January 20th. You know, he said he's gonna walk through me, and I'm glad that you know you won't finish me. You won't even get close. But don't worry, it won't be I enough I don't gotta worry about to finishing you. Your coach will finish you in the back like you're fucking used to. Don't worry about that. You're gonna get fucking finished that night. Your coach got you. Bro, why are you so angry? Bro, you think your dad beat the shit out of you? You, you, your dad doesn't have shit on me. I'm gonna show you what it's like to Dragus. beat you. I mean, all, every childhood memory you have is gonna come back when I'm in there with you. Every single one, the one where you lie in bed at night where your dad thing, comes man. in and he beats the shit I out of you. I will take your fucking soul, you understand me, you fucking pussy? <laughs> yeah, you fucking laugh, you fucking Yeah, oh, I got a nerve. I see I hit a nerve there. Yeah, you fucking did hit a nerve, you Bitch, <laughs> go ice your fing ankle, you fing coward. Oh, man, that's it. All right, guys, I'm gonna oh. square these guys off and uh, for and coming up. And I'm gonna fuck you up, Dreyfus. Thanks for coming, we appreciate Leave it. Leave me after you fing bitch. <laughs>